our research that we've conducted in our laboratory in Cambridge, the optimum temperature, which all our stylists operate at, is 185 degrees centigrade, the glass transition phase temperature of hair. So above this temperature, the hair becomes like a plastic or like a hot glass. So you can bend it, shape it, uh, do whatever you want, style it. And then when you cool back down below this temperature, that style and that shape is then maintained uh, by the hair. Temperatures below the glass transition phase temperature, that's not going to get the hair hot enough for you to be able to style it. If you go too high in temperature, so any temperatures say above 210 degrees centigrade, then you actually start to damage the hair. And we call this process denaturization of hair. And at that point, you start doing uh, damage to the, to the cortex, uh, to the cuticles, etc. And you actually start breaking down the disulfide bonds. We always set our stylus at 185, well below that temperature, which enables you to get this one pass straightening of the hair. We maintain this, this temperature with Eclipse constantly, so you can do this one pass straightening. And that gives you a result where the hair is shinier, it's actually stronger, and it just really looks sleek and more beautiful. We've been working a lot with stylists obviously since the launch and one of the main things that's come across is stylists say how easy it is to use and how quick um, they're styling the hair in the salon. You can go through with one stroke from root to tip and get beautiful shiny glossy hair. That, that's amazing for me. Eclipse achieves this by using a new technology and this is called zoned heating or tri-zone technology is what we call it. So to understand how it works, I need to explain how a sort of standard styler might work. So if you imagine my, my hand here is the, uh, the plate of the styler. And on that, you have a heater, and then you have a sensor which sits on the uh, plate of the styler. Typically, this sensor is to one side or the other. And what that means is you have to load the hair very, very evenly to make sure that the sensor is reading the temperature of the hair. Of course, it's very difficult to load your hair evenly across the plate. We know how hard that is. So the ultimate result is, that you're styling it below the optimal temperature. Now in Eclipse, we actually have three sensors and three heater zones. So this means that when you do bring the hair up to the plate and if it's unevenly loaded, which it usually is, that means that the sensor closest to it will detect that, that the hair's been put there. So it sees the temperature of the plate producing and therefore it knows to tell that heater zone to come on. And when it does that, you get, the, uh, you get this very, very even temperature right away across the plate. It's a bit like the difference between standard definition TV and high definition TV. This is the thermal equivalent of high definition TV. It just so happens this glass transition phase temperature is actually the same for all hair types. There is a myth uh, in the industry that you have to use uh, different temperatures for different hair types. This isn't actually the case at all. It's, it's pretty much constant for all human hair. And hence that's the reason why we're able to set this temperature. When you're using the styler, you'll be able to style any type of hair. So it's for all hair types, but you're going to see the benefits with challenging hair types. Now, I feel I've got challenging hair type because my hair is naturally very curly. Whereas using the Eclipse Styler, I feel the confidence because of the heat setting, which is 185, the confidence that the style is not too hot for my hair, but also I'm going to the longevity. So the curls, the waves, the straightness, I know that I'm going to be able to sort of keep that style all day long.